joined by Hofstra head coach Emily Mansour following her team's sweep of Elon here on Sunday. Coach, overall assessment of today's match? Man, any time that you win a, um, a match against a good team in three, it's a very good day. I think overall as a team, we just had a good weekend and we played really well today. Coach, you talk about the good weekend. It really was a great weekend. Dropped the first set to Towson and then win nine straight sets in dominating fashion against all three opponents. How, how strong of feelings that give you moving forward, especially in light of playing without arguably one of your best offensive players? It's fun. It's fun that, to see that we, as a program, we finally got to the point that if one of our big players out, we have other big players that can, that can just elevate the level and play well. And that's what we did for the past four matches or five matches with our Leticia, and it's great to see that. In the absence of Leticia Valente, uh, Laura Mashulo and Michaela Rukli have really exploded on the scene here and offensively especially talk about their development and today Lauer with 14 kills and 13 digs it's great as I said from the beginning that's our goal is to get everyone to to have their role on the team and to be an important piece and I think both Laura and Michaela really stood up I will say Sam as well Sam is a quiet lead and a quiet she make points when we need those points to be made and I think she really rose with the occasion of not having Leticia here with us you mentioned Sam and Sam today would really arguably be her best match of the year offensively defensively and serving uh, how important has her contribution been over the past couple weeks it's been very important if she did then a step up, we would not have been able to be where we are today. So I'm very glad that I, we knew the potential she had. That's why she came here for just one season. But it's good to see her flourishing and playing a good volleyball match. Late in that third set, after Elon started to pull things a little bit closer, you guys made the decision to put both Sidlik and Clement at the same time. What led to, to that decision? What did they do correctly that helped the team get out to a lead again? Hannah played a really good setting game today. Just offensively, she was watching the other side. So we just needed a. A, a little quick break. Louisa did a good job, but it was a little bit harder for her today. So we just put Hannah to get that quick side out, and Louisa could just focus on playing defense, and that worked well. It seemed like front row blocking was an issue for you guys at the end of non conference play, but everything has improved tremendously. Can you comment on the improvement that you guys have made in that category? We have been working in blocking every day. This is something that's not used for us, and we are focusing on it so we can get better and help our defense to be better. Uh, you guys are now hitting the road trip after spending all this time at home. What's that going to be like after having so much success here at, at Hofstra? We're going to be looking to have success away. We had we had two homes, so we're going to make a three, four, five home someplace else. Coach, following three matches in four days stretch, now a little bit of a break and then heading into a pretty big match at Northeastern next uh, Saturday. Uh, your expectations for the week in practice? We'll get a day off tomorrow and then I really hope we have been practicing really well and very aggressive and that's the goal, to continue to build the who we are in practice because that's going to pay off in matches. It's a very big match next week and I just want to see us play good volleyball. Thank you, Coach. 